Hello, everybody. I am just watching the NFL draft. The Giants have made four picks. We're going to make the fifth pick not too long from now. I, I don't know. I thought I heard some guys say we have six picks in the draft, but I thought it was five. If any Giants fan sees this or anybody who knows, please comment down at the bottom. I... If you do it in time, maybe. I don't know. But um, I'm thinking our next pick is probably going to be a running back. Um, we lost Saquon Barkley. We signed a couple, We signed a, a running back in free agency. But we could use... I mean, we could use, I mean, it's not going to be the same level of like talent. So maybe they don't go running back. I really want to see a quarterback. Um, I have so many people telling me that the rest of the quarterbacks are projects. The Maryland quarterback to his little brother, Talia, is not a project. I am a Maryland fan. I saw him play every single game. He is the real deal. He is just as good as his brother, if not, you know, almost as good as his brother. He's going to be a superstar in the NFL. Um, his one drawback, people say he's shorter than his older brother. So height might be an issue. But you know what? There's short quarterbacks in the NFL. As long as you got the arm and you could run, what does it matter? Uh, look at the guy, Kyler Murray, in uh, Arizona. I mean, he's pretty do gosh darn good. So, I, I would I would totally take him. Uh, uh, if you want to tell me right now that that guy DeVito on the Giants, Tommy DeVito, is better than, than Talia, I'm going to disagree with that. I'm going to say, no, he's not as good as Talia. DeVito is not as good as Talia. Talia is not a project. He is a guy that would be nice in the, in the quarterback room. If we got a guy like Talia, I would cut DeVito, let him walk. I would actually red, red shirt. Um, I would red shirt um, Talia for like a year. And... You know, maybe, and then maybe, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, maybe right starting him wouldn't be a good idea, but that's what I would do, and let DeVito be your quarterback if, 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 um, Jones can't go. Rattler was just taken by, Rattler was, he's a quarterback, he was, I think I have Oklahoma or something, he was just taken by the Saints. The Eagles are up now. They took a wide receiver. I don't want to try to pronounce his name. Anus Smith, maybe? I don't know, from Texas A&M. So, Giants, it looks like, are getting a little bit closer, maybe. We're going to get one spot closer. We're getting to the nitty-gritty. These are not great players in the draft right now. But like I said, Talia is a steal for anyone who gets them at this point in the draft. You're getting yourself a quarterback that has potential to be as good as his older brother, Tua. Don't sleep on him, NFL. Don't sleep on him, guys. Don't sleep on him, fans. He is good. I watched him every game. Trust me. There is a bias. People don't like... People don't like Maryland, maybe because they're a state college, maybe because they're in a blue state what have you, the media hates Maryland. I mean, a lot of good players have come out of Maryland. Let's be real here. I mean, Boomer Esiason many years ago. Uh, Stefan Diggs came came out of Maryland. Um, what's that guy's name that the Giants just got last year? Deontay Banks or whatever. Is it? It, was that his name? Or a thing. The cornerback. I mean, there's so many players that come out of Maryland that are really good. People downgrade the team so much, and they're really, really, really good. Like, I'm going to leave you there. I want to see the Giants pick their pick. Maybe I'll pause it, and I'll tell you who they picked, okay? I'm going to pause it and tell you who they picked. Well, the Giants are about to pick their fifth pick. Now, I don't know if this is their final pick or not, or if they've got one more. I would think if it's their final pick... They would announce the pick, like, officially and say, hey, this is the Giants' last pick of the day. So maybe they have one more pick after this. I don't know. 
they just announced the Ravens pick running back Rasheen Ali from Marshall. It seems like ever since they didn't cover each draft pick, it's like taking forever to get to the next team. And they're not even really covering each each pick. N now it went away. If they do the Giants pick, I'm not even going to say it. Because it's like a local commercial in my, in my area. For a uh, Mercedes Mercedes Benz commercial in my area for a dealership, so I, I guess I get Giants updates on my phone. They'll probably tell me on there. This is great. I'm totally gonna miss the pick. I don't think it do I put on ESPN or will I miss something? Oh, here we go. Picks in. Losing record for sixth time in last seven years. So we had one winning season, which was 2022. One winning season where we, where we made a playoffs and beat Minnesota. Our pick is 166. They're now saying, you know, updates about the team and what we did this offseason. We lost Saquon Barkley. We signed with the Eagles. Acquired linebacker Brian Burns from Panthers in exchange for 2024th second round and fifth pick. Waiting for the pick. Probably not going to be anything that drastic. We're, we're in. Oh, my storage is low. Hopefully, this happens soon. Okay, I'll come back um, with another video and tell you who we got all together. I'll just clean up some space.